Hello and welcome back to Expeditions and Mud Runner game as we head back out into Arizona. Now I was considering doing some more free roam in Grand Canyon, but I think in order to unlock some of the things that we need to do there, we should follow more of the uh, the actual planned expeditions. And I think we're going to go with Coconio. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Coconio. And there we have jobs for the Arizona government and his hidden treasure of the ford. Now it says, we studied old maps and found a, a marked place not far from the ford. Who knows what might be stored there? Gold or perhaps pri priceless historical artifacts. We need to find this place and explore it properly. Who knows what could still be there? It says it's hard. Um, 3,000, I'm guessing 3,000 meters. Uh, conditions travel to another map. Watery terrain, height differences, uh, requires an operator at least. And then for our rewards, we get a free a pre payment of 3,000, uh, a final payment of 20 grand for doing this. So that's not going to be bad. And then also we get an upgrade, which is the emergency reserve medium, which I think we've probably brought for most things, but we'll take it. Uh, it'll open up the outpost out there. Uh, 500 for not requiring to recover our truck three times. Uh, take less than 100 damage. Way things are going, that won't be a thing. And recognize at least five unknown points on the map. So we need to remember to get our binox out and see what we can, uh, can do out there. But this is the one we're going to take. Now, we'll, who is it? An operator. Uh, range, high... Scout marks airdrops can trade 100 meters. I think we'll go with um, Akane again. We've used her before. I'm also going to take out my mechanic because that gives us more anchors. Why not? I don't think we'll take anyone else. Now, vehicle wise, again, I don't really don't know the job, so we, we simply try our new truck. So I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to take the pug and we are going to first of all go into customization. So we have uh, we've got that anyway. So we'll take the mediums. We will take the reinforced fenders and we'll take the reinforced nerf bars because that's going to make it indestructible. Should take less damage. On the rear we've got the Oh, we've got the big, which is great. Provides good. So big is better, plus we get two slots for carrying. Uh, we'll put fuel in them, I think. And then on the roof, roof rack, excellent. What can we put on that? Light bar. And we'll take three. Do we take three? I'll take hmm, four fuel and some spare parts just in case there's a little bridge or something. And then front, uh, we've got bull bar, stock bumper. We'll, we'll put that on crash protection. We need all rims I don't tend to worry about and then actual upgrade upgrades we have so I feel like my mic is further away today I do apologize if this weird audio there um engine uh fine I don't like the fine tune do we go with it oh, I just I can't get used to them I just can't right we're gonna go with the rock crawler kit though Tires that should open us up to some more tires. Off road tires will definitely take those. Can I sell the ones for cash money? We can. Winch will take the extended. And snorkel will have whatever it will give us. Twin snorkel, so it's a little bit better. And then colours, let's find a colour. There is a mod pack out that does more colours, so. We might go with that. I quite like going with uh, 
We've sort of gone with that on a few, and we've gone the orange and black, haven't we? So should we should we try and stick with a, a theme? I don't like the red, though. That's the trouble. <laughs> I'm so particular in what I want. I'll go with that. That's all right. I feel like the green is just a bit garish. So then in our inventory slot, we're going to whack in. Uh, we shouldn't need... Because I think this is a scout, so it's autonomous, isn't it? So we just put in... We'll put in a few of these. And then if we want, we can pick some stuff up. I don't think we're going to need jacks, so I need to stop wasting money on jacks. And we've, we've got to get through to another map. Now, if this goes tits up, we may want help. So I'm going to... Although you can recover... I think we get one free recovery, don't we? I'm going to take the Katoka out. But again, like before, I'm just going to leave it as stock. So we just start out on the map if need be. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so that's going to cost us 1,800. So is that how far it will travel on its fuel? With its setup, it will travel 5,000 metres. Is that what that is? Have I only just noticed that? And that will travel 4,000. And we've got to travel 3,000. So we're good. We should be good for the for the job. Right. So if we deploy. And... Do we... Are we where have we got to get to? <laughs> I don't know which one we've got to get to. That one was, um, that began with W, didn't it? Where's the other? Uh, where can I, oh, if I have to come out, I have to resell that stuff, don't I? Are we going over here? Is that where are we going? If I, hmm, dear, oh dear. Didn't, didn't think about this, did I? I think that's the place that begins with W over there. I think this is the uh, Con Con whatever Adoris. So I do that a lot. Bear with me. Um, I just want to make sure they they are both there. So let's put us there. So I guess that's that is the uh, the spot to go. So let's start our expedition. Let's get into it. This is you know, three thousand. We've got 3k to travel, so let's try and get out there. And we want to be in bugs. Never seem to start in the truck that I want to be in. Right, we're have daytime. Now, if I check the map, it should now tell me what leads where, shouldn't it? Yeah, so that's where I want to go. Which means we need to get down here. We've got to go through everything where we've already been. We've got a pick up there that we can get. There is an airdrop there. We don't really need that, so... River crossings. We couldn't trigger that, could we? That was annoying. Unless that's the first one and that's the one I'm supposed to trigger. Who knows? Right. Oh, that looks like that's lit up now. Core problems? No, it's not showing anything there, is it? So yeah, the new pug. Let's get it out there. We've got a little, a little pick up here to start with. Oh, I've, I've got the fine-tuned gearbox. Perhaps I didn't even realise I'd done that. We'll take that. We'll leave them. You can use them to make things at the workshop, I think. If you have them... Uh, if you store them at your base, you can use them to make stuff. If we go there and we'll see how I get on with it. This lock is always on by the looks of, so that's nice. We'll see. We'll see how we do with the uh, the gearbox in Snowrunner. I just always had trouble with them. It still takes a lot of management. With a 
fine tune. We'll see, we'll see. See, I was considering going out and doing the um, dry, is it dried gorge? Because that's the only other thing that we've got that's actually open on the map at the minute. Or on this map. I think we need to progress and try and crack on with a few more of the actual uh, expeditions. See what, see what the game has to offer in other maps. Admittedly, it is going to be, you know, another Grand Canyon one, so it's, it's going to look a lot like this, no doubt. not the, uh, the easiest pass there, but I reckon we could actually drive through the Ford. We've still got all-wheel drive in uh, auto, so might as well do that. We could even try, if we get a decent run, try in high gear. Or high range gears. There's not really a lot of uh, scope for that, I don't find. And again, it's not a function that I ever really used a lot. And sort of in snow running, used it to get about a lot quicker. And the pace of this is slower anyway. There's no roads, there's no real tracks or paths to take, so. I don't think that really makes much of a difference. The game, as I record this, sorry, I've got an itch. As, as I record this, the game is, I think I said last time, full release yesterday. Um, reviews are starting to come in. It's been a bit mixed. I think some people aren't understanding what the game is, though, which is a bit weird. People, uh, I, I covered it last time. I think people were expecting Snowrunner 2. This is not Snowrunner 2. It's never been pushed to Snowrunner 2. I don't know why people think it's going to be snow. It's oh, runner two. It's mad. I also saw on Steam that people were <laughs> complaining about the DLC because it's just um, slightly better versions of trucks that are already in the game. But the DLC description is that it is slightly better trucks than what are already in the game. <laughs> what are you complaining about? <laughs> if you've got it, I mean, surely you knew what it was when you brought it. It's quite clear in the description. And, and then complain about it. Madness. For me, personally, the only flaws I find are, that, like I said before again, the rocks seem to be a little bit of a pain in the bum. And it's a rock crawling game. Some of these rocks you can't really get up on Nova. Uh, and I'm talking about those little flat ones. I'm not talking about the big ones. You can get up on them easier. They're a bit of a pain in the bum. And the fact that I I couldn't get my... Good way up at the top there. I couldn't get my truck that I was towing. When I was towing one of these, I, even though I had its engine turned on and it was, it was supposed to be towing and following... It just did not follow suit like I wanted it to, unfortunately. That was that was annoying. And that stutter in there while saving, because the game saves a lot. Auto save is a frequent thing. It sort of stops people from quitting out really quickly if they do something stupid. seems to really slow the game down. Like I say, I'm, my piece is pretty powerful. I run 38EI. It's saved often uh, pretty quick. M.2 SSD. Uh, processors uh, 
you know, it's a few years old, but it's a, a 9.9. .9. It's got plenty of threads on it. Uh, 10.900X. I'm going to try and find the time to do a proper review soon because I've I've been sharing sort of my opinion with different people in the comments as they talk about it and with uh, one or two of the guys on my Discord who have uh, sort of picked up the game now as some release or still considering it or, or aren't too sure so I share with them on there. So if you're in interested in that come and, come and check out the Discord, there's a link down below. But yeah, I might do a, a video it was so I've tried to play as much of the, of the game as I can, and I've played Mud Runner, I've played Snow Runner, I've played, played both, of the, both of them a lot. You no, know, I own three copies of Snow Runner <laughs> and two copies of Mud Runner, and you never know, I may, may even get a second copy of this so I can play on console as well because I enjoy these games. But I enjoy quite a lot of games, and people who have. Uh, been with my channel for a while will know that I am quite critical of the games that I enjoy and that I like because I, ex I expect I expect a lot from the things that I enjoy. I don't do the whole uh, fanboy pandering thing just because I like something. I don't give it an easy ride. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Oh. I need to remember to sort of turn the engine off and stuff when I do that, because I think I'll waste a fair bit of fuel. Let's see if we can get a... I don't know if that'll give us a sneaky peek at... Upgrade. Where is that, then? 143. Is that just over here? Let's we'll see if we can find that. Get a bit closer, and then I'll pull the drone out and have a look. But I think that's great. I like the the whole drone and the the binoculars for searching your area and finding stuff. Like there it is, it's up there. So how do we get up there? Oh, just go round it. Okay. How did I miss that when we come and looked at the uh, the Bracken Brad uh, RV? What the upgrade is. We haven't found many, really. So that's another reason why I want to go out and explore and, and do a little bit more here is to find the upgrades and stuff. But I'm not sure if that would be all that entertaining of content if I just, you know, went out and just did that exploring. So I may do some of that in between. I just roll around on on the first map and find see if I can find some stuff. And if I do, I'll tell you what I found. I'll show you if I can. So we've got an off-road gearbox, and that's for the Tuz. Nice. That'll come in handy. We'll use that. That's for show. Right. We've already used up half a tank of fuel. How are we if we turn off all-wheel drive, try and save a little bit of fuel? We got the. Huh. That's what happens if you turn off the wheel drive, you don't go anywhere. Although I have noticed as well, since the game went full launch, my. My ultimate Don, or whatever it's called, the extra Don, isn't <laughs> in my garage. Not on this save, anyway. If I started a new save, perhaps it would be, but it's not in my garage. I have to see, see what's happened there.
I don't think I've said it yet, so uh, thanks for coming along. I hope you're enjoying the series still. Appreciate the support. Um, for me and my channel, I think things are going pretty well with uh, what we're doing here. It's tough to, to push a new game on the channel. What's this? This is definitely a thing, isn't it? Is there something on here? Hmm. If I... Buy knock it, does it pop up? That's a gateway. Or perhaps it's just marking for the gateway or something? It's not giving me anything, is it? There's definitely some stuff there. Probably one of those contracts that I can't yet activate. So this is our first real travel through to a new map. go. Uh, reserve places where the Arizona desert intersects with a lot of greenery which distinguishes the area from nearby territories. This is part of the Arizona region. Okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it's a little bit greener. Trees, a few more trees. Is that like an old, an old western town? An old mine in town, that's what that'll be. Sick. Right. Buy knocks out. Anything wanna show up for me? Anything at all. A little sneaky. Oh. The lookout tower there. Oh, we won't be able to get the drone out, will we? Because this will be edge of the map, no doubt. Oh, we might be able to. We might be able to get the drone out. Let's see if we can. Fly around to discover some shizzle. That's as high as we can fly. We can't really tilt up. We've got something there. Clearly. Need to keep an eye out for those uh, big crates. Is this what the upgrades are in, isn't it? All right, let's just head forward then. We got like weird holograms. Are they holograms? But of people. Oh, they disappear when we get here. What is that all about? Are they ghosts? Is this a ghost? Ghost town? <laughs> is that what that is? Is that what that is? Uh, okay. <laughs> is this going to get silly? Show the task. Um, on the golden path. Once here, uh, once here lay the path of miners who came to these lands during the gold rush. Historical communities uh, interested in capturing this path in order to recreate the events of the beautiful era. 
So we have got a little job to do at some point here. Are they? Oh, they, they disappear when you zoom in on them. <laughs> I wonder what that's all about. I am in, tickle me intrigued. I must say. Oh, we've got an avalanche. That's new. Are we going to have to take spare parts and, and clear the road? Are we going to get some of that goodness? We've got an airdrop over there. Okay. Again, I don't know if this is the route I want to take, but our flag is over there, so we'll uh, have a look. Just let me see if I can see the crates for the airdrop at all. We'll take the fuel if we can get to it. Oh, there's this stuff. Is that that's the, that's a, that is an airdrop, whether it's the airdrop? I can't imagine there's more than one light on top of it. Yeah, that's definitely one. Got to get over to there. Oh, is that a bridge? Have we got to build a bridge? It won't show without the binox. That's, that's a little bit of a... A bummer. Binox to see that. Ah, uh, we got to go down anyway. I was going to climb up. we got to go down and through. So that was a good job. We did come and have a little look. Yeah, well, that is a bridge. It's just got to be closer to it to see it. So that's bridge building. But we're coming down there. So our route in... From where we are. We'll go and get some more fuel from that site. We'll come through and up. Hopefully we'll get up there. That'll be our thing. And we'll just quickly refuel. The the pug, the collier, does seem a little bit more agile than what we've been using, but I'm not sure it just might be the terrain is just been a little bit more friendly at the minute. That could be the case. To from going around, so I said you have to climb up there. That'll be a bit of a, a bit of a chore, but we can go around it. Still might need to throw up an anchor though, just to support us. Oh, we get round away. We don't know it. We don't know it. So we're going to get the. Uh, Close collision, funny camera. So we'll take the fuel. And we'll take the anchors as well. Loads of juicy goodness. Right. Classic, classic, still in reverse. So we're going up there. Yeah, for how much of a nightmare this was to drag along uh, as a, on the rescue job, on a recovery job. Actually quite nice to drive. The wall. It. Which 
which way which way did I say we're here it's just down and through I think the only way we can bump down is good up by the looks of it oh 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 um, I am not going to trust that. Our first glitch. I am not going to trust that. <laughs> no, no, no. We will... We will find another way down. Although it's happening, it's spreading further. That's, that's a little bit... Concerning. I just grab the tree in front, thank you very much. Um, I don't think I've got myself in the best position here, but we'll try and work with it. I didn't want to fall through the map, that's all. Which I think is understandable. That's oh, right, it's coming back. Slight worry there, but we're good, we're good. I did see someone complaining about the search, explore the areas, and they seem to think that you have to drive around the area to search it. Like, you've got binoculars and a drone, why are you driving to uh, uncover the area? That made, that made little sense to me. Like, we, we clearly have an area here that we're supposed to be searching. And as we do that, you can see the percentage explored, it increases. So then if we then try it with a drone, wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit more. And we've got another area over there, but looks all it. So as we venture a bit further forward, we see more of the area. And then we can check the map and it'll sort of highlight anything we haven't or need to see. That's pretty cool down there, a little rock wall formation through that. Ooh, is that an upgrade? Is that an upgrade? I think it is. How do we get there? Along this part, so how do we get up there? It's definitely an upgrade. Mm. 
it come out from there. So I've just got to find where I can climb up that that plateau. From where I am, how can I get there? Oh, that looks like a trail, doesn't it? I think that might be the way. We might take a little... Uh... Diversion? Diversion? I don't know why I said it, like a knob. <laughs> but you are one. Right, yes I know. I could even go up there, look. Anyway, so, yeah, just by doing that, we've got 100%. And there are people that are complaining that you have to drive around everywhere. It's mental. Mental. So if we try to maybe play our tyres a little bit... Get a little bit of rock crawling going on. Although the the angle that it decided I had to take wasn't very nice. So we've we've got a gazillion. Let's uh, use one of our our fifty anchors that we've got. Tell Adam that I'm going to go left. <laughs> yeah, let's make this life easier, shall we? Let's use our anchors. Two upgrades in one episode. Exploring is good. Right, what are we getting here? Uh, a rock crawler kit, and this is for the Tuz as well. Nice. We are bossing the Tuz now. When we uh, get back to doing something with that, it's going to be fine. Now I'm not going to be able to negotiate that. Am I just going to be a it's gonna go. Oh no! You wanna, you wanna reverse round? No, 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 sir. No, no, no. We let you get up here way too easy. You're gonna have to fight your way out. No job. Right. Let's go to our next. Our next marker, as it were. It was like off over there, wasn't it? Yeah, let's pop back up again now. Oh no. These things happen, people. Don't worry about it. You used to worry about these sort of things. You don't have to now. You don't have to. It's just... Ah, <laughs> oh, Basel. 
What happens? I'll do a side winch. Hopefully that'll pull us around a little bit. Might pop us over. Should do eventually. No, not gonna. Come on. Excellent. So now, actually, now I've done that, let's have. Let's get our fire knocks out again. Oh, I thought we had a bit of Bon Jovi going in the background then. Oh, excited. So there's nothing there. So where are we going? Oh, it's a bit of a trek. But I think we just... Probably bump our way just down there, can't we? By the looks of it. Cut through across. Down and through. That's what I'm going with. Just double checking it. Double check, triple check. Yeah, I think we're... We've got the anchors, so we could probably just pull ourselves up and over. Be nice if we could find another airdrop along the way for fuel. ourselves up back. Oh. Oh. I <laughs> surprised myself. Ooh. Take down this side. That'd be easy, do you think? Rather than going all the way around. Get on the top and then just off we go, I think. Our first bit of damage, it's not bad if it is. Then they're gonna take some more. Well maybe not. This doesn't look too bad actually. Yes, it's uh skill to climb. There's a hundred credits. What's that over there? Avalanche. Are these counting as like the five things? I still don't know what that is when it says like find five things. We got an airdrop over there. Uh, around the water objective. Where are we going? What way are we going? We're going that way, I think. No, we're not going that way. I wasn't even looking the way I want to go then. Yeah, I was. Around the water. Yeah, we're good. Oh, this looks nice.
so it's not gonna be fun. Come on, pull us up, lovely. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Go on. Beast. I love it when it works. So I'm not going to trigger that because that's, that looks activatable anyway when we uh, next want to do something. So we'll let that be. We'll grab that fuel from up there though. Hopefully there's fuel anyway. I just always assume there's going to be fuel. Oh wow. Dinosaur rib, part of a dinosaur skeleton. It's a great value to the museum. Man, I can't. Can I exchange? Why can't I exchange? Oh, I can't scrap anything either. It would have been nice to have seen uh, what that was worth. Shouldn't have bought the jacks, didn't need to. I don't think I did. I shouldn't pick the jacks up. Didn't need to. Hmm. Oh, what a limp. Oh, yeah. Pressing the wrong button. There we go. I just want to see what that's worth. We'll leave the, <laughs> leave the jacks behind. If we pick the jacks up, then it doesn't matter. They were, they were found out on the map. We can leave, leave them back on the map. So this is the part out by the Ford that we are here to examine. Vinox out and have a little look around see if it can mark anything up for us Ooh, what we go over there wrong address a new Ford. We're going to do some scanning. Turn the engine off just in case. Oh, one of these. Oh, another one over there. I mean, the mini games. Am I a big fan of the mini games? I don't think they add a massive amount, but there's something. It's, it's as if you, you know. You feel like you're doing something, I guess. It seems that there is something left under the water. Maybe there is something valuable there. Okay. Find the stash among the stones. Gold nugget. Let's go. Pick up a gold nugget. I'll have to leave some anchors behind, probably. So we are exchange. We'll leave the anchors. We'll leave the seven. Okay. 
uh, deliver the treasure to the outpost. So, where is the outpost? We're going this way. Uh, we've got some fuel to pick up. Oh, that's the way we came. Going this way. Oh, it's not too far. Okay. Are we going round? Or do we go up? We're going to have to... Do a wee bit of scouting, I think. There's a cool bloody lag on the save. Come on. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get a bit closer and we'll, we'll try and figure that out. Maybe go up there. And around, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think this is probably going to be a bit of a challenge, so we'll uh, drop the tyre pressure and get stuck <laughs> instantly. It's a big rock though, isn't it? Like, what was I thinking? It's not like this is a, an obvious climb or anything. Well, it looks like it is. I might get myself in a position where I can put an anchor near the top. Or we could just try and climb it. Yeah, I think what we'll do... reach any further? Come on. Oh, let's see if we can get a bit further then on our own. Sometimes I think the, the collisions are a little bit off as well, like some things have a much bigger collision than it looks like they're going to have. that one. Come on. There we go. A little bit of terrain disappearing again up here. It's a shame to see. They're up. Yeah, that's not... It's coming back, but that doesn't look good, does it? That needs that needs fixing. For sure. And let's see if we can do a similar sort of thing. We can get ourselves up here as far as we can. Handbrake on. Anchor out and then. Oh, come on. We can reach further than that with our winch. We can certainly reach further than that with our winch. down to the same spot now, but... Yeah, it's been a bit of a... Hmm...
How about... Oh, I'm one again. Oh, it's going to be my new noise for this game. Because it always... Doing cab rather than winch. Because I'm still still living off SnowRunner controls. Because I'm still playing SnowRunner as well. No, we're not getting up there. We are not getting up there. Not getting down again now either. <laughs> Right from the back, was it? Well, I hope we get over anyway. So there's that. friendly roll. Sorry, this is uh, going a little bit longer than I thought, but I, I wasn't sure how far we had to go or what we had to do when we got here. Let's just progress on and see how far we can get in. It might just be that we've got to drive through that gap. Hopefully we'll have to do something with these um, like lookout towers and stuff soon as well. What's this? Uh, new objective discovered, show the task, uh, lost cargo. It's quite a well paying one, so it's probably a biggie. It's too important to secure your load when you use a trailer expedition. You passed through this area, didn't heed the advice, now we need to collect the cargo, no reason to let it go to waste. Okay. Sounds like a job for future Farquhar, especially since we've not got a cargo trailer ourselves. We'll see if this is the path. Because we've uh, wasted a fair bit of fuel, I think. Trying to climb and do stuff. Ah, just there, look. Didn't need to worry about all that fanny 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 around. deliver our supplies. Golden nugget. And there we go. We've created ourselves a little outpost area. Uh, Recognise these five unknown points on the map. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to find, <laughs> what I'm supposed to find with that, but we found stuff. Um, got 20 grand for it though, plus uh, 1,000 for less than 100 damage and 500 for not rolling the truck. So we'll take our rewards. Uh, took 25,220, that's going to help. Going to help a lot. Um, doesn't tell me how much I'm getting for that dinosaur rib, but it's, it's part of the resale of everything else. So anyway, we'll head back to uh, headquarters and um, decide what we're going to do next. But that is going to be it for another expedition, another episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We went somewhere new, a uh, new map. We've got a new point that we can go to. That all that should open up more, obviously, more expeditions there in that map. It may have opened something else up in the Grand Canyon. We'll have a look at that next time, decide where we're going to go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully, I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.